some of you may be aware that Sergey Kovalev's promoter, Kathy Duva, has filed an official complaint with the Nevada State Athletic Commission for the stoppage of her fight out Sergey Kovalev against Andre Ward, claiming that Kovalev was fouled and therefore shouldn't have been stopped. Uh, an individual named Bob Bennett has now made a public statement. He is the executive director of the Nevada State Athletic Commission, so he's a bigwig in that organization. I'm going to quote directly from Bob Bennett. He says, In all fairness to Kathy, she's upset. It's her fighter. I felt we had it right the first time, and I thought Tony did a great job this time. I've reviewed the fight this morning. I looked at those punches that were allegedly low, and even spoke to Tom Hauser, who sent me a video saying one of those punches was low, but was very hard to determine because Kovalev's arm was by his waist and the punch looks like it comes up underneath and hits on the belt line. Kathy said, Bob, can't you take a look at the instant replay? But the only way we can look at an instant replay is under one condition. When a punch or kick below the belt terminates the bout and the referee isn't sure whether it's a legal or illegal blow. I asked Weeks, do you want to look at the instant replay? And he said, no. He said, I'm satisfied they were on the belt line. And it was clear from my viewpoint that the punches were on the belt line. It's rather interesting at the end that when Ward hits him in the stomach, at the end, he sat on the ropes and the punch looked good. Weeks was in good position to see where those blows landed and they're right on the belt line. Are they close? Sure. But do they look good? Yeah. Did he have one or two low blows where Tony told him to keep them up? You could argue that he did. But at the same time, you could argue that Kovalev put Ward in numerous headlocks and Tony had to reprimand both of them. I think the stoppage was good. So again, those are the words of Bob Bennett, the executive director of the Nevada State Athletic Commission. He saw no issue with Saturday's ruling by top referee Tony Weeks. Interestingly, as I said in another video, Tony Weeks has now come out and actually admitted fault with the stoppage. So you've got Bob Bennett and Tony Weeks saying two different things publicly now. So it's going to be interesting to see where Kathy Duva's complaint goes from here. Whether her complaint is heard and there's some type of ruling on it in her favour or whether, as it appears here from Bob Bennett, it's just going to be dismissed. Drop your comments in the comment section below, people. Let me know how you feel about this information. What do you think is going to happen from here? What would you like to see happen? At the end of the day, and this is not to make any excuses for what happened in the ring. I thought it was a bad stoppage. I thought that Andre Ward should have been deducted points at least one point for low blows. With all that being said, in that eighth round, Kovalev was wilting. After he took the right hand, he didn't show much fight in heart or spirit. And this is something which I suspected would be the case with Kovalev at some point in his career. And I've said this in several videos going back a few years. The first time I noticed something I didn't like about Kovalev in the ring was in a Nathan Cleverly fight. And again, Richard Dwyer says this many times. It's when fighters, when things are going well for fighters, that's when you can actually notice weaknesses more so than when things go badly. If that even makes sense. Not, maybe not even more so than when things go badly, but that's when you can notice things. And I noticed in a Cleverly fight that up until he landed the breakthrough right hand which buckled Cleverly's knees, Cleverly was in his face. He was pressing the action. Kovalev was hitting cleverly and wasn't getting through and wasn't discouraging cleverly. His punches weren't having the desired effect. And I noticed that Kovalev started looking agitated and uncomfortable. He started looking to the referee for help. I think the HBO commentators even mentioned it at the time because there was a HBO a broadcast for that particular fight. I think they mentioned it, that, he, that Kovalev was starting to look uncomfortable. That to me was a telltale sign of things to come in Kovalev's career. I always felt, and I said it many times, that this guy is going to be like a Mike Tyson type, a bully type, an on-top fighter. When he's in control and he feels happy and he feels like his power can get him out of trouble, 
then it's all good. He'll take a few shots. But when he's in the ring with somebody and he can't land his power shots at all, or his power shots are not hurting the guy and the guy's coming at him and he's in his face and putting pressure on him, Kovalev is going to be the kind of guy that cracks. And to be honest with you, low blows aside, I did see that in Kovalev in the eighth round against Andre Ward. I saw him breaking down mentally. He did. And that don't necessarily mean that he would have got stopped in that round if the low blows were called. Because he would have got a lot of time to recover. But still, I think that was a sign of weakness from Kovalev. I have to be honest. Uh, one thing Boxing Beats and Rhymes said, and Boxing Beats and Rhymes and me differ in terms of the legitimacy of the stoppage. But one thing he did say is that Andre Ward is one of the toughest fighters in the game in terms of mental toughness. And I can't argue with that. He is tough. Ward is a tough, <laughs> he is a tough SOB, man. Very, very mentally tough. I mean, this guy is so focused, it's unreal. And he has to be mentally tough because he's not the most athletically gifted fighter. He's not the most powerful fighter. He has de decent athleticism, but he's not a puncher. He's not the quickest guy out there. You know, decent speed, but nothing special. So his technique has to be incredibly on point, which it is. And... His mental strength is just next level. It is next level. You know, you can criticize certain things about Andre Ward, of course, in terms of fouling and what have you. But this is not just a guy who goes out there and fouls people and wins. For, no, you have to look at the fact that this guy does have terrific technique. He's a great strategic fighter. Great defense. And, you know, a very, very mentally tough man. Very mentally tough. When he was up against it, and he's been up against it in several fights, against Darnell Boone, against Kovalev in the first fight, when he's been up against it, his back's been up against the wall, he's been hurt, he's been down. This guy never mentally crumbled. This guy never felt sorry for himself. He came roaring back. So, anyway. Drop your comments in the comment section below. Let me know how you feel about everything I talked about in this video. It's happening, I'm out.